What's up, guys? Today, we're going over there. Yes, picking up moments where the last video left off. We are currently at City Walk. Just got done at studios, checking out some Halloween Horror Nights stuff. And we are headed to the Aventura Hotel. Haven't checked it out yet and pretty much everyone else has. I'm a little bit behind, but like, I don't know. I still want to check it out. So we're going to see what we can get up to. So I'm pretty sure you can walk to Aventura, but yeah, we're not going to do that. We are going to take a bus. I don't know if I've ever taken a bus to a Universal Resort before. I don't think that's ever happened. So this is a first for me. We're here, we're out front of the Aventura. Finally get to go in and check it out. I'm so excited. So we're in the lobby. Universal Studio store, obviously just kind of typical Universal merch. Then we got this urban pantry area. Looks like a lot of places to sit and watch some sports. Obviously you got a bar, the Starbucks. Comes, uh, comes with pretty much any thing ever, honestly. <laughs> and out here we have the pool. Seems kind of small in my opinion, but I mean, there's, there's no buts, it's just small. We came out here to get a slightly better look. There's a little outdoor bar seating area. Let's go around here. You can't really see the full pool from this angle, um, but it just kind of wraps around back to this way. And I guess there's a little splash play area. So yeah, it's it's very, very small. I mean, it's, it doesn't look like it's a bad pool or anything. It's just, I don't know. I just don't see how with, with a hotel of this size during peak season, like, I don't know. It just seems really small. I don't know if I mentioned this, but in case I didn't mention it, the pool here at Aventura, kind of small. We got a little food court here. Lots of variety. Got the Asian food, burgers, uh, roast kitchen so i guess like chicken and stuff probably i don't know and uh pizza so yeah i'm gonna actually i want to see what's at roast kitchen because i'm i'm not really sure what that means oh yep rotisserie chicken beef rib baked salmon probably my favorite area of the lobby uh we got the desserts and treats got the italian ice Ooh, we got an assortment of like cookies and donuts brownies a bunch of different kinds of drinks and stuff yeah, there's definitely a lot of things to choose from here, which is which is nice. So heading back here to the elevators, this one is pretty cool. It can take you straight up to the bar at the top. And we're going to go up there in a little bit, not yet. But this elevator takes us to all the other floors. We're going to head to the second floor because I guess there's some stuff. And also, it's like a like a touchpad elevator. Oh, oh cool, look at that. They got their little... Oh, that's kind of trippy, sort of. It looks... It looks really like weird on camera to me for some reason. We came into the fitness center to check stuff out. Seems like they got a lot of stuff. Pretty standard. Treadmills. Football. You know what? Let's walk let's walk on the treadmill for a little bit. Check out the view. You got this nice little interface. You can watch YouTube, TV. Or you can just check out the view, which is blocked by this curtain right now. Check on this thing called the arena. I'm not a very fast track runner. Just slowly meandering along. Let's up the speed a little bit here. Ha! <laughs> huh. Okay, we're uh, picking up the pace. I'm at a cool 3.7. I'm gonna slow back down now because I'm not in the arena anymore. <laughs> See what else is here. Oh, outdoors. Oh, check it out. You can check your Facebook. <laughs> while you walk or run. Oh, look at this. Oh man, what do I do? Let's go with Yosemite. Let's go with Yosemite. What? This is the coolest thing. So far, the best thing about this hotel, the treadmills. Now it's time to go to the top. Eventually. 
All right, we're rocking it up this elevator. Okay, maybe rocket is an overstatement. Here's the bar. Wow, look at all these comfy seating areas. Well, not as comfy as I thought, but it'll do. So the rain on the glass ruins it just a little bit, but you get a very nice view of Cabana Bay and Volcano Bay. Head over this way. You can see uh, some iDrive stuff, slingshot. Star Flyer and the, the eye. Conve that's the convention center right there. Ooh, there's the entrance to Volcano Bay. So here we got some uh, I-4 action. And then right over here, very nice skyline view of downtown Orlando. The camera doesn't really do it much justice. This glass has a little less water on it, so we'll try again. So that little fixture that I just showed, it's like right to the right of this pole. I'll, I'll zoom in one more time. I think that's Orlando City Stadium. I, I could be wrong now that I think about it, but I'm, I'm pretty sure. One more area where we can check out, which is this like blank area. <laughs> so more Cabana Bay, the volcano. But what I really want to show you is this look in the Islands of Adventure. And Sapphire Falls, you get a great look at Sapphire Falls. Look at that. Oh, there's a lot of water on this one. Let me see if I can get a better one. That is amazing. And you can see Rocket Off in the background too. Right through there, you can see the Hard Rock Hotel. Just right over there, there's islands. That is amazing. So we came back down to the first floor. My ears popped on the elevator this time. And Mike ordered a margarita pizza. And they basically just give you a little buzzer and it shows up. So here's the pizza. I would say it's worth 15 bucks, especially if you're just one person. Not, look, not looking bad at all. All right, so we are headed out of Aventura. The margarita pizza, like I said, it was 15 bucks, fairly decently sized. So if you're only one person, I would say it's decent value because you will fill up and Mike was so generous and let me have a slice. And I will say it was pretty decent. Uh, it wasn't like groundbreaking or anything better than like other stuff I've had, but yeah, it was solid. So we are headed towards the exit now. Some final thoughts on the Aventura. It's a very sleek, very modern hotel. Uh, definitely nice. Uh, I wouldn't say luxurious or anything like that. I wouldn't say like futuristic, but it's definitely with the times. Lots of uh, stuff that I haven't really seen in other hotels, like the, uh, the workout machines and the interactive interface thing and the touch pads on the elevators and all that. It was very sleek and very polished, so it was it was good. The only thing is, it didn't really feel like a, a theme park hotel. You know, when I think of a theme park hotel, like say, Wilderness Lodge, or even here, like Portofino Bay, they're like these themed hotels that have some sort of theme. This is just a nice, modern, sleek hotel that could go literally anywhere. As far as Bar 17, I've seen a lot of people saying that the view is like kind of eh. For me, it wasn't like, the best view I've ever seen, don't get me wrong, but definitely better in person. I don't think I did it justice on camera because, I mean, you can't really, especially with an iPhone, but 
it was nice and it was definitely a spot that I could see myself like hanging out in before Halloween Horror Nights. Obviously would have been cool to get to see a room, didn't get to do that. But yeah, overall not bad. Again, didn't blow my mind, didn't hate it, have no idea where I would rank it. So yeah, that's pretty much gonna do it from me. Thank you for checking out this video. Subscribe if you wanna see more theme parks and I'll see you guys in the next one. After all, it was rock and roll.